A few years ago, we had the idea of sending a group to the United States to interview my friends and my family and people that I was associated with when I was growing up. And that would be primarily in New Jersey and California. But since then, uh, my relatives have moved to and friends have moved to different parts of the US. Uh, a group, a small group, have already gone to Xinjiang, Taiwan, Tibet, and also um, to interview, to interview my family uh, and people that know me. And so they've done a lot of research in Taiwan in Xinjiang and Tibet to gather that information. And the last place is uh, the United States. So a group of 12 people uh, who have gone to the US a few days ago. And their trip has been very successful so far. And this is a message for them. Um, I'm very happy our Kichara Temurmanchi Bio Research Team, Research Group, are now in the United States. And you have arrived in New York. And from there you went to New Jersey. And you have already visited the many places of interest that was associated with me when I was growing up. For example, Nitsan Temple, Rashi Jambalin Temple, and uh, Ol Nakazar Temple and to meet a lot of my uh, relatives such as Sarah and Aunt Matza and Debbie and to meet um, Sarah, uh, Lizzie and also Susie and also to come across um, people like Mark and uh, Bali and Carmen, Anila Carmen and you've been talking and interviewing and going to where I was, um, where I used to play, where I went to school and also where I lived on, in Howell, my family home. And so I wanted to say that I'm very happy that you guys are doing that and you've been updating me and keeping me in the loop and I've been keeping all of our close people in the loop also about what all of you are doing. Um, I've been watching and listening and observing and I must say that all of you are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. And I'm very proud of you. And that's the people there such as um, with such dedication and uh, such incredible uh, effort, you know, Ben Kui and JP and Su Ming and Carmen and Patrick and Dee Dee and also Jinai, Jimei and Ruby and Chris. I think all of you uh, are doing a wonderful, wonderful job there meeting all my uh, people and I also want to thank my relatives especially Sarah Andreev who I have been in contact with since I left home and we've been in close contact over the years and sometimes our contacts kind of drift but when email and the internet came on our contact become even even better and I remember Sarah used to complain a little bit about the internet being complicated and difficult and now she's on Facebook and now she's really, really good. And I wanted to thank Sarah for even before our team arrived, you called up our friends and called up our people and called up our relatives and arranged for all the people to gather in your house and you arranged the food, the cooking, the shopping, and um, all of my people were in awe of our Kalmyk Mongolian food. And they said that the Kalmyk Mongolian food is just absolutely delicious. And they really enjoyed meeting everybody at the family gathering last night, the family and friends gathering last night. And they really feel honored and feel very privileged to meet all of you. And, I've, and I know they mean what they say. Um, I wanted to thank Sarah for calling and arranging and this dinner and I want to thank Sarah so much for 
um, having it at her house and also spending many days taking my people around to the various parts of my childhood. It really enhanced what we are doing. And I want to thank you very much, Sara. And I want to thank um, people like Carmen, Anila Tuptincheni, who took our people around to um, Russia Jampoline and had the keys to bring them into the great master Kensa Losan Tachin Rimchi's room to see where he lived, where he meditated, where he taught, where he gave teachings, where he also um, gave audience to people. And finally, when Kensa Rimchi decided to pass into Paranirvana, the very bed that he passed Paranirvana in. And I want to thank Anila for that, to bring my people there to be blessed because Kensar Losan Tarchin Rimchi is my first guru. It is where I received my refuge, where I received my initiation, where I received many, many teachings and transmissions when I was very young. And I find myself very lucky because I arrived in the United States in 1972 and Kensar Losan Tarchin Rimchi arrived in 1971. And um, Kensar Losan Tarchin Rimchi is a student of His Holiness Kaji Trijan Doji Chang and His Holiness Kaji Pabonga Doji Chang in Tibet. So what are the chances of that? That I get adopted to the United States and out of the 52 states we have in the US, I get adopted into New Jersey. And then out of the hundreds and thousands of cities and towns and townships that are in New Jersey, I get adopted into Howell Township, Howell, New Jersey. And what are the chances that 10 minutes bike ride away from me is one of the greatest living masters that came out of Tibet, and that's Kensa Losan Tachin Rinpoche. And I find myself very lucky. The word privileged, lucky, and the word meritorious is not descriptive enough for this great master. And I'll talk about him at another time, but I'm so glad that my people went there to see the holy stupa that enshrouds or enshrines his remains and also the students there have made a beautiful holy and sacred statue of Kensrimchi with his relics inside so my students were able to see that and get blessings my people my friends who went there were able to and i'm very happy and i thank anila for that and also devi polshinov ashton who came all the way down from philadelphia to join in the festivities and the meeting and the dinner last night at the families at Aunt Matsa's house. And I want to thank so much Debbie for coming down and bringing pictures and talking <clears throat> and speaking to our family. Debbie is one of my favorite cousins who I grew up with and we played a lot with her other three sisters. We call them the DP girls, Debbie, Darlene, Diane, Danielle, Polshinov. So being that all their names started with D and it with P, we used to call them the DP girls. And those four girls were just wonderful, hum are wonderful human beings, and we had wonderful times together. And I'm so glad that Debbie was able to make it to New Jersey to meet with my bio team to talk and speak and share. I thank you very much, Debbie. And Aunt Matza, <clears throat> who was excited and happy and very, very enthusiastic to help from the beginning, unfortunately had a fall about three, four days prior to this family gathering last night with our team. And she had hit her head and she had fractured two of her ribs and she was admitted to the hospital, treated, and she was um, admitted out to rest at home, but she got well in time. I mean, she was in pain, but all right. She got well in time to join the group last night. I can see from the pictures and I'm so happy to see my Aunt Matza. I'm so happy that she was there and she's all right. And Aunt Matza and Sarah, her daughter, will be coming to Malaysia very soon. I've been trying to get Sarah and Aunt Matza to come to Malaysia for years. And Sarah and Aunt Matza have wonderful, 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 eloquent reasons of why they couldn't make it. But when I talked to Sarah a few days ago, without me asking her, she said immediately, she's got her passport. So I cannot say that, I cannot say more than what I'm saying now that I'm very, very happy. I mean, very, very happy about that. 
I would like my family members to come and see me and visit me here. We haven't met in over 30 years. And some of us, some of us we met 20 years ago. Most of you I haven't met in 30 years. And I'd like my family and friends to come and visit me here because I would like to share my work with you. Um, my life story is not extraordinary or very special or something very unique. But it is a story and it's my story. And having my team of people go back to New Jersey to investigate and to document and to interview and to talk and speak to the people that I knew when I was growing up made me feel like as, as if I was there. And it felt very close. It felt very good. It felt as I was there with everybody, meeting everybody. Um, and I, I want to thank people like Susie, my cousin who invited them to her house and to have her self interviewed to tell her story because we shared so many good times together. In fact, Susie and Lizzie and our team are right now in Point Pleasant Boardwalk walking around and Susie is showing her skills as a Pac-Man master in the arcade. Um, Susie and I, when, we were, when I was very, very young, used to go out and play Pac-Man quite a lot. Susie would take me to a lot of places and do a lot of things with me, which I'll talk about at another time. I'll be happy to talk about at another time. And um, anyways, my story is not that special, not that unique, but it is my story. And I think I've been getting many inquiries and, and questions about where I come from, where I went to school, who are my parents, what I did. So one of my teachers gave me um, very strong instructions that I should make a biography of myself. So a book will be coming out soon and probably a movie. And this book must be accurate. So our people are doing research to make this book very, very accurate. And my family members who are yet to meet my people and my friends who are yet to meet my people, there are people in California and also there are people in Virginia like Aunt Mania, who is very close to me and I adore, and Darlene and Diane and Danielle, who are my very close cousins, who we shared so many wonderful memories in the past together, are yet to meet, and my good friends such as Nina, who is in Florida, who is ill, who are they gonna go down there to meet, and who I care very much about. And also I want to intersperse here that I want to thank my good childhood friend, Mark, for taking all of my people around and explaining to them what we did as kids, how we played, how we hung out together. And he even took the time to take them to Turkey Swamp Park because Turkey Swamp Park used to be a place where Mark and I um, would ride our bicycles and hang out there in the summers. It would take two to three hours depending on our speed to get there. And when I got there, um, I would go and do my meditations. I used to like to do meditations on Avalokiteshvara by the lake that was there. It was a very beautiful lake in Turkey Swamp and um, recite thousands of Omani Peme Hongs and do my meditation. And Mark would go and do his own thing in Turkey Swamp and he would tease me because I would say to Mark, what are you going to do while I'm doing my prayers? And he would say, I'm going to go fishing. Then he'd say, no, I'm just kidding. I know you're a Buddhist and you wouldn't approve of that. But he was the witty jokey and funny type. And um, I wanted to thank Mark very much for taking my people to a place that's very filled with happy memories of our childhood together, our friendship together from over three decades ago. So when this story is complete and this book is done, it will be very accurate. It won't be just things that I said from my memory. It won't just be things that I recalled, but it will be confirmed and also correlate it, corroborate it from relatives and friends. So I want to thank the bio research group who are there with a professional cameraman, Mr. Patrick Lim, which I'd like to thank very much for taking on this job. And I'd like to thank Martin for finding these talented people such as Didi and such as Patrick to go along to do this project. 
I wanted to thank my bio team for their wonderful work so far. And I know you have another one, two weeks to go, but I want to thank you ahead and send you a message that I am very happy and I'm very, very excited. And I love your updates and I love the MMS and I love the Facebook posts and I'm watching and I'm pleased. After this, I will be going to my other room and I will be setting up to do a morning puja and to do a set kim for all of your further success. I would like to thank all of my family members and friends who made all this possible and my bio team. For now, I'll say goodbye and I hope to see all of you very, very soon. Thank you very much from Kale.